Hey Sky, so just thought I'd show you a bit around my room. Here's my little post office area. I can't see it very well. This is my jar of random shit that I've found or gained or been given. I kind of like it. My favourite jar so far. Besides, of course, five cent coins over here. Oh, I can't carry it, I can't lift it. Um, and I've got some spoons and stuff. I don't know, just random shit that I found and liked. And then here are my little creepers that I made. And the, the bigger creeper, of course, that you've seen. And then Bibles, because. I like Bibles, they're pretty. And this little, I don't know, ashtray thing. And my piano. I don't know if you can see that very well at all. But it's there. And then, I mean, I've got my little mushroom there. So, this is my room, which you have not seen in a very long time. There's my mirror, which I like a lot. My little box I'm going to try and redecorate. Your picture up there, and your pictures either side of the fireplace. And then... Just over here is movies and stuff from my cool bookcase. And then those books over there which are going to go into my new bookcases once the couch comes out. Um, this is me. Oh, you can't really see at all. I'll try and make it so that you can since you want to see my outfit. Me trying to be summary. And this is mesh, I can't just, I don't really know if you can see that properly. But yeah, I really tried to be summery and it just, just, I, I kept finding black things that I wanted to wear. So that didn't really work out as planned. Um, and then some of the art that I want to show you. I'm not really sure if I should show you those ones really, but those are some of the um, sketches and stuff from my drawing class. This one, really I don't know what's happening with it, but so far that's what it looks like. Um, I, do, I don't know what to do with it. So if you have any ideas that would be really good, because I, I don't know. <laughs> It needs something, but I don't know what, and it's mostly to do with the face, I think. The face needs something else, or maybe, like, I should have more yellow coming out here. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you have any ideas, that would be appreciated. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I've sort of told you most things that are happening in my life right now, but... I will get out my visual diary and maybe I can show you some stuff from there. Um, oh, yesterday we were painting and drawing, uh, just painting, uh, sound and smell. I of course just did sound since that's, you know, a hundred times easier. Um, so here they are. This is Fences by Paramore. Not really sure I got that one. Um, this one, okay, I believe you bought my tummy gun. Don't buy brand new. Uh, I think that's the way that goes. Uh, I think I sort of got that one. Quite happy with that. Um, this one is a lack of color by Death Cab for Cutie. Again, not really sure I really got that one. Uh, and then this one is another. Death Cab for Cutie one, which is just the lines. I didn't know what I was doing. It was, it was really hard. It's not sad enough to, to to be easy. And this one was Asleep by the Smiths. 
which I'm hoping you're, it's making you feel um, sad and alone. <laughs> Intensely sad and alone. That's sort of the aim of this one. So I'm hoping you can see that in it. Um, now the rest of this, I think you've probably seen a lot of it. It's, oh shit. Um, um, this is my weird little self portraity thing. Uh, weird self portraity thing. More weird self portraity things. Um, cyborg fetus for our cyborg project for sculpture. I didn't obviously didn't end up doing that one. Um, well, that one stuck together. I am breaking things by trying to get it apart. This is just a random painting that I did. Um, this is sort of was anyway. I sort of changed things a bit now. Um, the idea behind my my uh, current cyborg idea. Um, so just with all the jars of random stuff, although they're not all going to be um, liquids anymore, which they were originally. Um, so like I'll use my five cent coins and the random bits and pieces jar, and hopefully also matchsticks I think and melted army men. So like my childhood just melting. So that should be pretty cool. Um, this page, I'd, I have to like the page. <laughs> um, and this is all the random shit that we've got to think about um, for just every class. I'm not really sure what's going on, but um, what class is there for, or what the actual work is going to be. But yeah, that's why I need the favorite places thing. Um, random printmaking test plates. Me and my mum as one person. Um, and a random painting page, research, skulls. Um, this closer to my actual idea now, so I'm going to get. I've got one bookcase. Um, I haven't actually put it together yet, but I've got one, and I just need a second one. And that should work out fine. Um, yeah, that's my skull that I just drew for. Fun times. And that's me and my brother as one person. Oh, should I go past the one of you? I think I did. Oh, where is it? Ah, there we go. That's us. How hot are we as one person? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that attractiveness right there. <laughs> that's me and my dog. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, uh, oh, we got a mentor. Have to talk to a random diploma student um, for theory, and it's. I don't like meeting new people, and I was really hoping I would get the random diploma student in my digital class, but I didn't. Somebody else did, and <laughs> I am not looking forward to speaking to a random person. It is. We're gonna go in pairs, because <laughs> we're all terrified. Um, this is experimenting with liquid graphite, which is really fun, and I would super love to get some. Um, and I think on the back is just more experimentation. Yep. Um, painting. I don't know if I've got much more in here. Yeah. Um, oh, in one of the jars, I'm, like, getting, well, I'm going to make, like, a heart, and then have, it like, really, like, deformed and like growing and and shrinking in certain areas and stuff and so hopefully that'll be really cool and then it's just modern art I think that's roughly it oh this is one of the girls because our model didn't come so we had just had to draw random people from class so this is my friend um, just modeling for the class like five minute or two minute I think for some of these and then five minutes for I think that one was five minutes, and then these two were like two minutes or something. Um, that one might have been a bit longer because everyone wanted to stay in that position, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so there's those ones. And then you know, I'm just good at practice doing hands, which normally I'm good at, but I didn't have an eraser and I was on the train. Man, looking through the camera, those fingers are way too small. 
Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. We've got to do some more of these sound things. I should be doing smell as well and taste, but I just, I can't, I can't figure out how I would do it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me how you, I mean, it does sort of, I sort of get it, I think. But with music, you've got, like, I feel like there's more of a feeling towards it. So, like, with smell, I understand that, you know, um, like, the smell of summer for some people is incredible. Like, it, it, all the memories come back and stuff, but... I feel like I don't get that so much. I feel like it's more with music where, um, you know, the emotions are so intense in the music that it makes you feel those intense emotions. Um, so I feel like I can understand that probably a bit more than, uh, like, taste or, or smell. I don't know how I would draw any of those things anyway. Like, how do you draw the smell of being home? How do you, d or, or paint, sorry, how do you paint the smell of being home? Like, you know, it's so much harder to do it in an abstract way, I feel. Like, she was saying to paint the colours. And I, I, don't, I feel like I, I don't really see colours that much. I mean, you know, I smell sheep shit and I think of home. And I, I think of maybe green and brown, but that's only because I'm imagining, like, a landscape of, of the farm. Like, I'm not... It just it's very confusing. Um, so I think I'm just going to stick with sound because that's a lot easier and I'll just listen to a lot of sad songs and do them. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't do happy. I tried, like, that lack of colour song is not even happy and look at my attempt at that. Like, what is that? What is that? It's not, it's not making you feel anything. I can't, it's like it's not sad enough. It's still sad, but it's not sad enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know. I'll figure it out. But I'm not happy about the the talking to the mentor thing. It's just going to be hell. Like, why make me talk to someone? And I'm sure she'll be fine, but she does like ballet shoes, clearly, given what I saw at her desk. And I'm not... I don't know. I don't know if I can get, get behind that. I mean, maybe, you know, she'll come up with something really deep and dark to tell me about what her project is about. And if she does that, then it'll be fine. But if it if it's not deep and dark, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how I can go. <laughs> I'm a deep, dark person. I'm not, I'm not a fan of, of the pretties. I mean, sometimes I am. But I think it's deep, dark pretties that I like. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Oh, and I didn't show you this, I don't think. I just put it over here because it fell off my door. see that probably not so I just painted colors for fun times and then um oh, this one's a little bit weird up there I'm not sure I like that but anyway um and then this is just going over from a mirror um and just tracing my face you have to keep one eye closed otherwise it all, all looks fucked but um yeah, I don't know, it's quite fun. Is it, I've done roughly the same thing for my um, printmaking class, actually. Um, like, I mean, I've, I did that, uh, the thing with the faces on the plastic. And then, um, and then I just etched it all out, basically. And then next week, I think I should be printing it. I thought you'd like to see this again. Oh, there's me. There's me again. What's the other me? There's me. <laughs> this level. Oh, and the picture of us. This level of these pictures. Oh, and the picture of me. <laughs> I just love your drawings, I think, and your art. And that's a poem. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to pause and like read it. Um. I know why the cage bird sings for freedom, that's one of my favourites. Although, of course, you know, right above Bukowski, because he is always going to be the best. <laughs> Alright, i got to go because it's going to be um, 15 minutes in like 4 seconds, so I'll see you later. Bye!